Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the featherweight bout between Shelly and Duanderbeek versus Mel Quazel Costa. And how do I feel about this one right here is I'm going low confidence Mel Quazel Costa to beat Shelly and Duanderbeek. So both of these guys are what Steve Garcia victims. Both got stopped. Uh, Mel Quazel got submitted. Um, Shelly and got TKO'd. Shelly and had a better performance, but I'm picking Mel Quazel Costa to win. At the end of the day, like low confidence Mel Quazel Costa win. But at the end of the day, whether oh I beat this guy, wait, a second. yeah. I'm always been interrupted by cops and fire trucks. But anyway, anyway, yeah, all all in all, this ain't about MMA math. It's about how do these guys match up against one another? Because oh, I you took that guy to a hard four decision, and I knocked him out in one second. But stylistically wise, I favor myself to beat you, and that's what it comes down to. And then they both those guys lost. Steve Garcia both of them got finished. But um, yeah, I look at Melquazel Costa. I think he's like one or two inches taller, and I think he had like a two inch reach advantage, like like seventy one versus like sixty nine. Two, yeah, so he has a like a two inch reach advantage and like a one inch height advantage over um over um Shailene Randabeek. And I think he's like two, three years younger than Shailene Randabeek. Um so I like that. I think he's a more technical striker. I think Shailene has more pop in his punches. You know, he has he has heavier hands, it might be a spos more explosive and you know, one shot motions. But I feel like um Melquazel Costa is just a much more fleshed out striker. And I, and I feel like he has enough grappling. You know, he has enough wrestling. I think he's the better BJJ guy for sure. I think Shelly, he's a good take you down and lay on, on your control you guy at a level. But I think um, Melchizedek El Costa can defend his takedowns pretty well. And I also think he can use his BJJ to reverse position and, you know, potentially find a sub or find a finish. But I think this goes the distance. I think it'll be a good scrappy fight. I just think that um, Melchizedek El Costa is just a better overall fighter. I think, again, I think he could dress the wrestling. I think he's the much more fleshed out striker. I think Odin Shelley has over him as far as striking his power. And it's not like he has a combination power. He has like that one shot power. And I think that fades over time, especially when this, people already know about it. It's easy to predict and to um, find ways to defend it and not be there to be hit. You know, having that length, having that reach, having that youth. Being a much more dynamic striker, good inside kicks, good leg kicks as well. Because also take away some of that power. It will leave you open to some takedowns, but you mix it up with, you know, disguise it behind your hands, disguise it behind the jab, you know, mixing the spinning back kicks, you know, mix it up. And he gets like to um, get those kicks in there as well to lessen the wrestling of Shailen Randabeek. But either way, I think it's a good competitive fight. I think both guys will have that moment, but ultimately, I think um, Melquiz El Costa is going to be able to land the more effective strikes and do enough to, you know, limit the wrestling success of Shailen and Randabeek. And I think he beats him by decision. Competitive fight, but I do think Shailen and Randabeek, Rand Rand I'm saying the wrong guy. I do think Melquiz El Costa wins here. Yeah, I think Shailen got some power, but I think Melquiz El Costa is the better overall fighter. And I think, you know, younger, taller, longer, more around it. I think in every area, like just generally speaking, every area, he's better. I think he has him covered, but nonetheless, I think it's going to be a competitive fight. Because Shelly and Randabeek will bring it. And also, nothing. it's not like Shelly and Randabeek going to come out. Neither guy's going to come with the pressure that Steve Garcia comes. So, it's not like either guy's going to do what, what um, Steve Garcia did to beat both of them. But I can see... Um, um, also, Costa, you know, even statistically, he has an edge. You know, he throws more strikes, like twice as many strikes on average, you know, just based off their UFC careers. He lands more shots. He's more accurate. He's more defensively sound. I think only um, Randabeek has over him is he's goes for more takedowns. His rate of takedowns and rate takedown score is higher. And yeah, but, which could be a big factor, but I think, again, I think Melquiz El Costa will be able to address the wrestling. And again, I'll strike him, I'll work him, and beat him by decision. So, in this one, I got Melquiz El Costa via decision. 